so this is what I'm looking at dealing with. So this thing here, one of these bolts came loose and it was slopping around in this thing here. And you'd turn it and it would change. Um, and uh, you know, it was eating up tires too, but I pulled all the bottom stuff. I don't even even tell. I redid the top ball joints, put shocks on it. I don't know, maybe two years ago now. New starter. Alternator. Air conditioning doesn't work. The guy had it before us. Spent a lot of money. The dash went out. The uh, climate control unit went out. The flapper in the back went out. And then they charged him a bunch of money. We got this tire on here. You don't even want to know how old this damn thing is. We don't go over 35 miles an hour in this thing. Um, this is the original tire. Should be from 2003. I have no idea what the hell she did. So it's been underneath the vehicle for quite some time. Now, in Washington State, something like this would be perfectly fine. I've seen tires that were 20 years old. You know, they would last forever. But in Arizona, what happens is the sun kills them and they blow out. This tire's squatting. Well, I gotta deal with that when I get back. We just can't afford to do anything. It's like, you know, I don't have a job. I maybe get 150 bucks a month from YouTube. I cannot buy a tire with 150 bucks a month. We had other problems and meanwhile they're giving out $1,400 to whatever you want to call them. I'm on Social Security Disability. I get $900 a month. If I go to work, they immediately cut off my medical, cut off everything. So, basically, I have to wheel and deal for everything I get. I have to fix everything broken that I get. This tire isn't too terribly bad, but not too terribly good. This is a tire that's only a couple years old. It looks like crap. Absolute crap. I forget how old it is. It's like a 2018. Maybe newer. And this one here is a 2018 also. I can see. I like it when they put the date code on the outside. I don't have to look at the inside of the tire. Uh, these things wear really fast. So this is about done too. But anyway. That's not the problem today. I went to go... This is, this is my my truck that has 250,000 miles on it. Now we're okay on one of these tires, but this one is in the front and I probably need ball joints because it's wearing out. These are all from 2017 and that's how they get here. They get all cracked in no time flat. And then, they got this truck. If you looked at a price of 35 inch tires, I don't drive this, but these tires here are 35, 12 and a half, 18. With this truck here, it's got a lift on it. That's how I bought it. I bought it with these tires. Yeah. And it's got 410 gears. So if you put like this size tire on it, you'll barely be able to go 65 miles an hour. And in Arizona, they'll be really mad at you when you're not going 75 or 80. So, uh, these are the metric equivalent. 
125, 65, 18. You can't trust these. They're not that old either. This one, really bad. Look at the cracking. That's the side that faces the sun. So, we bought these tires in 2020. And uh, let's see, the date on them was probably, I don't know, I can't read these ones because they're on the inside, but I think they were all about three years old at the time. This one here is newer, and I bought a bunch of tires from some guy and I didn't really look at them. But it had that on it. The tire place mounted it anyways. That's from 2016. These actually look good because I think the guy had it in a storage something. But the, he off-roaded the piss out of them. This truck's got huge exhaust on it. This is how I bought it. I think I bought this for uh, 2500 $3,500, I don't know, I can't remember. But it's a 1997 F3, F250 four-wheel drive. We set the, the damn lift brackets are welded on in the TTB and um, it eats up tires, it eats up front ends. I've replaced these bushings and the uh, shackles a few times already. Um, it just doesn't get driven anymore. I drive it when the other truck breaks and I need an emergency or something. And the last time I did that, the injector cups went out on my other truck and I drove it and I was driving this thing to the Ford dealership and the drive line fell out. <laughs> so, um, but right now, what we need to do, just to place this, the um, pressure switch connection is bad. We need to test the battery. I got my sticks here. I'm going to cut a different stick for this. Um, this thing's a couple years old. Look at it, it's all cracked. Nasty. This thing's got 407,000 miles on it. It's looking bad down here. It goes through a lot of oil. Yeah. It's super, super rusted on one side. Like, if I ever had to work on this thing, trouble if I have to pull a head off of it. So anyway, I want to make sure the alternator's not going out for the millionth time. Hey, it looks okay. I mean, the air conditioner's on full blast. So... The one good thing about these trucks is if you run out of oil, they just shuts down because the injectors run off of oil. So I guess we're off to the junkyard. We'll catch you guys later.